Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Player Select Gaming, back playing some more Minecraft today. And uh, here I am. Okay, I thought I put blue stained clay in here. I was trying to, or blue glass. I'm trying to round up all the blue glass that I have lying around. I also have a bunch of regular glass that I've been smelting. Um, yep, yeah, there's some, oh, there's a bunch more. Did I ever get this? Maybe I didn't get that out from last time. I don't know. And I need to take these pork chops with me because I am out of chicken. Because I've been working on the railroad. Just kidding. I actually have not been working on a whale, whale, whale road. A whale road. A railroad. I've been working on this thing. Not too much. I just got it done. Uh, the clay is done. This is what it looks like on the inside. And so now I just got to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> what I want to do with it. And what was that? Was that just... I thought I heard like a cave sound or something. I don't know. Might put in a redstone door, might just leave it open, might decorate it or something. Might do something like this. Uh, let's see. That's not the right pick. Might just do something simple like this. Just to make it nice. Here we go. I don't know. We'll see. Gotta think about it. Ah, I don't really like that, but I'm too lazy to fix it. And so, oh yeah, that is uh, kind of finished in terms of the outer shell. But now I just need to work on putting all of the chests and inventory and all kinds of stuff. Probably going to make it two levels. Um, just make some steps probably right here. Um, just nothing nothing spectacular. Maybe just, I don't know if I'll start right here or right here. Just have steps going up. So a step here, a step here, a step here. Or do I want to go step here, step here? And then the regular floor right here. But that only leaves me a too high floor. Unless I go step, 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 block, step, and then have it up here. Which would give me... Yeah, I don't know. We'll think about it. Oh, whoa. Chill out. Let's actually get some blocks, actually. Let's actually, actually do actually. And get some blocks. And we'll try it out. Okay. My skin, my arm looks more white than usual today for some reason. I, do not, I don't know why. Okay, so, how have you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing great. No, give me the pork chops. Hopefully you've been keeping up with all the content on the channel. I've been releasing a steady flow of content lately, and I just recently added another series to all the madness, Octodad. And if you haven't watched Octodad, or seen any of the videos, you definitely need, now this won't be the final thing, you definitely need to check it out, because it is hilarious. And you just need to check it out. I mean, if you don't even know what Octodad is, um, you're missing out. Okay, so if we go bam, 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 bam. Okay. This is just, like I said, just for testing purposes only. Not the final look, believe me. Um. Hmm. Now this will be interesting. Do I do this? Or do I do this? But yeah, you should be checking out Octodad because Octodad is good. Octodad is a good, it is a good thing. What, okay, wait a minute. I need to, oops, use the wrong pick. Okay. I think I, I'm going to get it here. Hold on, give me a minute. I'm just trying to... I don't know what I'm trying to do. There. This? No. I don't like that. I want... Uh, trying to work limited space. It's not easy. But yes, Octodad. If you've never heard of Octodad, basically you control an octopus, but nobody knows he's an octopus except for this chef guy. I don't even know who this chef guy is. He's just like a random dude. Um, but he, he's a chef and he's a dude. And he knows Octodad's secret, that he is an octopus. And so what you have to do is kind of to survive... And not get caught, like, don't, like, make your identity known. And, you know, the storyline, okay, it's lame, kind of lame. But the gameplay is the best part of that game. Like, it's completely ridiculous. It's so wobbly and like, ooh, it's just, you're controlling an octopus. So you really don't have too much uh, control. Um, I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't know. I got to think about that. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put like stairs up against this wall and like bring it back around. Something like this. Um, so let's say I want this to be 
I want the wall to be there. So over here, I would put this, I think. I think this would be right. But yeah, long story short, I'm, I'm like not getting to my point. Um, you should check out Octodad. It's really funny. Um, I first saw it on Pause's channel, and I just decided I need to play this game because it looks hilarious, and it is hilarious. And it's a lot of fun to play and a lot of fun to watch. Um, it, it sometimes induces rage, but it's it's very funny. It's very lighthearted. It's not like pure like tactical. We got to figure out this, that, and the other to try to beat the game. It's just it's just pure fun, and that's all it is. And it's really it is fun, and it's also only eleven dollars on Steam. And so if you want to check it out, you can over on Steam. Okay. Oops. Is that... No, we're not on the right level. Stop that with that there, stairs. Okay. Okay, What? basically what we have is this. Did I say go check out Octodad? Yeah, you should do that. Do go check out Octodad. It's a fun series. And I and you guys are, have, been, have been checking it out, I will say that. But I just wanted to let everybody know in case anybody has not experienced Octodad and they're like, what in the world is he talking about? I saw this Octodad thing on his channel, but I have no idea what it is. It sounds stupid. It might be a little bit stupid. It might be a little bit silly, but it is fun. Okay. The only bad thing about this is we are losing a little bit of storage space. But, I mean, we could sit, 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 sit stuff in here. I don't know. I'll think about it. I mean, out one, one, two, three, four one two we're losing the same amount of space and if anything we're losing more space doing it this way than we are with this so i don't know let me know what you guys think i'm trying to just make it so it's the most space efficient um that i can be bam go up there whoop up here now we're up here in the chest area i don't know i gotta think about that we'll see nothing is set in cobblestone yet get it like set in stone cobblestone okay so that's enough of that I'm going to work on setting up. I'm going to bring stuff in and set it definitely up on here and here. I might use trap chests in between regular chests, but I might try to do double chests. I guess there's a way to make double chests like two chests long. Um, I saw Doc do it on Minecraft because I was wondering how in the world does he get all those double chests like right beside each other? Because normally you can't set double chests beside like right beside each other. Um, like maybe you, I don't know. Like they just usually don't work that way. And I don't know what I'm trying to say. Can you or am I just completely missing it? Am I just making a fool out of myself by talking about it? I just didn't think chests would work the right way, the way I wanted them to. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't even know. I'm going to stop talking about that. But yeah, I might use single chest. I might use double chest. Don't know yet. Because, I mean, for, for the wood chest, it definitely needs to be a double chest. At least a double chest to fit all this stuff in. Might need two chests for wood, but right now we can just use one and we'll be good. Okay, let's go. Spiders, get out of there, spiders. Let's head over to this area. Do we have things that we need? We have food. Okay, just making sure we have stuff. Um, right here, we take our boat passage, la di da, through the wonderful sugar canes of goodness and gladness. And we would take, 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 take the plunge, splash. And this would be open right here, and you would ride down this on a boat. Oh, yeah. I made this all blue wool. Squid, get out of here. Can I hit him? Get out of here, squid. You don't belong here. And so you'd ride the water. I'd have the water uh, making streams, and it would keep taking, <clears throat> keep taking us this way. And I did expand this a little bit more. And so, as you can see, this is what it would look like. It looks pretty cool, if you ask me. You can see the squid swimming. You can also see I'm um, just... Barriers of land, like barriers, edges of land and the sun and stuff. And so it's going to be cool. Going to definitely stick with the blue wool. I like it. I like the way it looks with the blue glass. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And so let's get out of here. And I've been thinking, where do I want to take this? Can I get out? Okay, there we go. Where do I want to take this thing? Do I want to take it the whole way to right to the end? Do I want to take it right above the end portal and just fall down in? Let's, ain't nobody got time for this. Let us, whoop. I dug a path underneath the water, um, just leading where, like on the same level of what the underwater, tun underwater, underwater tunnel would be. And right here is where 
I first um, came up from the canyon because I said, oh, wow, the stronghold, it's right here. Um, and that was all thanks to viewers letting me know there was a stronghold in the vicinity. It gave me the, just a direction, and I just went on an adventure, and I found it. So I dug straight up, and it actually is a big, huge hole in the ground, which is kind of cool. And uh, the end portal is right pretty close by. And so what we can do is, this is what I'm thinking right now. I kind of changed my mind because I thought about just bringing it um, the whole way over here and then wrapping it right to what and like moving it and wrapping it around or stopping it and then having your mine carts that would go over there and then just go down. But now what I'm thinking is to stop it right here, maybe lower it, um, bring the place, like bring it down right through here and bring it on this floor and then have it go down through here and build a tunnel through this ravine because the stronghold is right in the middle of this ravine, which is really cool. Whoa, gotta be careful down here. Um, the stronghold is in the middle of this ravine. And just bring it down through here somehow. And get to the actual end portal, which is very close by, believe it or not. The first time I went down through here, I was exploring for half an hour and did not find that end portal for at least half an hour, almost 40 minutes. And the ironic part is that the dumb thing is just right here. It's right beside, it's right on the ravine. If I can get up here. Whoop. But it's just crazy how that ravine just cuts straight through the stronghold. Okay, get up. We gotta get up here. Come on. And yeah, it's right here. It's literally right beside... What was that? Oh, it's a stupid silverfish. No. Stop. Um, it was literally right beside the ravine. And I went down. I went through some other entrance. I was down and around. Down through there. Whole way down through there exploring. It took me a while until I wrapped myself around and found, it was like, oh, it's been here the whole time. And so, stop with that, stop with that. I'm thinking about bringing the tunnel just down here and just having it stop right here. Or maybe a little bit over here and then just walk, like give a platform and walk the rest of the way. Whoa. And it would end right here because the end portal is right here. I didn't think it was this close, but it is. And it's kind of convenient that that ravine is completely open. And I think it would make for a cool trip if I bring a tunnel the whole way down here. Light up the ravine a little bit more. Um, light it up and then have the tunnel going down. It would just be coolio, right? Is coolio still a cool world, world word to say? I don't know. Whoa. And stop that, you. Stop that. I want to keep this. I'm not interested in, making, interested in making a farm because I don't, I'm not really sure what the properties of these guys are and like how they behave because they're just kind of tricky. Like, the, I have lights on them, and they're still spawning. I don't know if it's because it's surrounded by blocks or what, but it's still spawning. You're bad. You're bad. We need to go to the end anyways, because we're low on ender pearls. And so we can head over to the enderman... F Whoa. Oh, gosh. The enderman farm, which we have not been to in a while. Okay. Let's just make a run for it. Go, go. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. Okay. We haven't been here in a while. Um, it's probably, I don't even know how many episodes it's been since we've been to the Enderman farm. Um, I don't have any fancy way of transporting myself. I'm cautious to use mine carts and uh, tracks because if you like get out of a mine cart, sometimes it'll just completely put you somewhere where you don't want to be, AKA the void and you'll die. I don't want that to happen. So I think I might just do the walk or something. I don't know. This is good enough for me right now. And so let's get over here. I haven't even used this for a long time. Does it still work? Yeah, <laughs> it still works. And so right now I have it on auto kill mode. It's really loud. I gotta turn it down. I'll probably turn it down in the video too. Um, right now I have an auto kill mode where what I can do is just go in here. Blop, blop. Why are spawn rates so low right now? I guess they're not too bad. But I have this in kill mode where um, it will just give me ender pearls. Now what I can do, and I think I fixed it before it wasn't working right. But I can put it in farm mode, which would just be setting those up. And it should not kill them. Okay, that one died. I think a few die. Okay, there we go. Yeah, some of them die. I'm not sure why. I think it's because they don't hook onto the vines or something. Because I have vines the whole way across. If I go 
I, know, I thought if I go up, let's let's try this. Oh gosh. <laughs> if I ooh, if I go up, I'm 90% sure there's vines across the whole thing. But for some reason they're still not catching on to the vines and there's st some of them are still dying from drop height. And so we'll just go up here and double check. Um, this isn't a fancy design. I'm not using pistons of any kind on what I'm doing. I don't want to look at them. What I'm doing is having blocks. Uh, but it's the same design as the gold farm that I have in the nether. I have blocks and then I have two rows, like two empty spaces. But I put, I'm pointing to the screen, but you can't see. I put these trap doors there on each side. And the endermen think it's a valid place to walk like across. And so they walk through and of course they can't walk on thin air. So they just walk down through. And these vines are supposed to catch themselves on the vines. And I see vines all across, but still somehow... There's ones that don't catch the vines and they die from fall damage. I'm not sure why, but that's how that works. And it's it's not 100% efficient and it's not, you know, just completely awesome in terms of uh, the rate. Well, wow, there's a lot actually down here. I'll stand corrected, but they're one hit kills. Yeah, they are. And so all I need to do is go like this. It's really loud and I actually can get a little. No, I can't get that close. Um. I need to change the floor here so I can actually get closer to them. Do not teleport out here and hurt me. There we go. Ooh, is that open? No, it's not. But yeah, this is all I need to do is this. Bam, 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 bam. And I can take him out. And I should be able to walk in there as long as I don't look at any of them. Yeah. I should be able to be in here without... Oh, uh, one of them made contact with me. Bam. But yeah, it works. I'm happy with it. It's the fastest way for me to get to level 30. It's loud, it's annoying, but it also gives me a lot of ender pearls. And they're one-hit kills, which is nice. And so I'll just go through here and I'll just take all these guys out. Oh, somebody's mad. They saw my face. And we'll get this last ender pearl. Then we'll head out of here. Now let's turn... Well, you know... Whoa, how did he get down there? That's because this is not a half slab, and he spawned on this, didn't he? Hmm. I have to half slab this, because I do not want them spawning down there. Do I have any stuff left? Oh, wow! Look at all this stuff. Why do I not have this stuff with me? Get the pistons. Sea and stained clay. Wow! I completely forgot I had this stuff here. Wow. Yes. Give me this. Um, okay, I'll take the repeaters. <laughs> wow. I feel foolish for not taking this stuff with me. I completely forgot it was here. Well, that's a nice little find. Okay. Can I, like, walk? No, I can't. That's okay. I don't need to walk here. Okay. I shouldn't even need down in there for anything. So I just need to be able to go, boop. Oh, gosh, they're up. Die. Oh, I'm using my sword. Oh, I'm using my pick. Stop it. I'll use your own ender pearls to take you out. Okay. You're bad. Go away. Okay. Let's collect the last of the XP. They're so angry. Why are you guys so angry? Is there anything I don't need? I don't need that. I don't need that. That way I can pick up these ender pearls. Don't want to leave any waste. Oh, I picked those things up again. Okay. Whoop. And so that's the Enderman farm if you haven't seen it yet. And so that's that's the really the goal of this whole thing to the end. Because it was a pain going through the water to try to just get to the end portal. And I mean I guess I could ender pearl, but an underwater passage is so much cooler. Don't you agree? I would hope that you agree. And if you agree, hit that thumbs up button. Because that does show that you agree. It also shows that you love this channel. And it shows your support. And it does help this channel. It does help videos rank better whenever you give it thumbs up. And also helps when you comment. Um, I know I've been asking a question of the day lately. I should probably start doing that again. Get you guys answering some more questions. And so let's see. Question of the day. Oh, that was a mistake. Minecraft 1.8 is coming out. I've done like two snapshot videos on it. Now, I don't think I've asked this question yet. 
What is your most look forward to feature of Minecraft 1.8? Right now, honestly, I can't even think of any of the features right off the top of my head. Um, oh, yeah, duh. The new enchanting system. We have new stone blocks. We have slime ball blocks that are bouncy. I think I'm looking forward to that. Um, just to mess around with them and just try out different things. But I am also looking forward to the new stone blocks because I always like getting new stone blocks and trying them out and building with them. But I'm also excited for the new enchanting system because um, it's definitely going to make repairing items easier. It might get might make getting the items you want harder, but repairing them will be a lot easier. At least that's the hope. And all is well because they fixed um, the iron golem farms. They did break them, but the community spoke out and they said, hey, we're not really crazy about that. We would have preferred if you didn't break the farms or nerf them. And so they pretty much unnerfed them, so they're back to normal. Uh, gold farms the same way with, like, my gold farm, it'll still work now. And Enderman farms I don't think were ever touched um, because that's the only drop Endermans have. And so they should be completely fine. But, yeah, all is well in the community and all is well in the Minecraft snapshots. And so let me know what your favorite feature is of 1.8 so far. If I had to pick one... I'd say it's the Minecraft, or the Minecraft, duh, the slime blocks, because I think they're just going to be fun to use, uh, making all kinds of bouncy trails and all just kind of crazy things. And so that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my low frame rates. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think about the underwater passage. I think it's coming along pretty good. I think it's going to be a nice thing once it's com fully completed. And i got to work on the, the storage area. I still got to think of how I want to set up that staircase because I want a second level. I might just put ladders. That would be a good way to just solve it all, just to put ladders in. And so I might actually just do that, honestly. Just put ladders in the corner and climb up. That would just be the easiest. And so, whoa, yeah, hello. Thank you. And so that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Make sure to check out Octodad. Also check out the series that I'm doing with Artie and the Super Mario 3D World series, and the LEGO Marvel Heroes series, and I will be playing Starbound again. Starbound. I just need to wait till I get some other series done, and it gets a couple more patches, but it, the last character wipe did happen, so I could start playing, and so we'll see. It'll be coming soon, though, and so make sure you look forward to that. Also, follow me on all my social links. They're all in the description below. That's enough raining for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.